Hey guys, Andrew with Funnel Boom here. Just wanted to uh, put together a quick video to discuss some recent changes to Facebook's uh, conversion tracking. So uh, everyone knows, I think by now that a couple months back, they've they rolled out the new website, uh, Custom Audience Pixel, that's supposed to consolidate your audience tracking and your conversion tracking. Uh, so that was a, a big change, and and we put together the blog post on how to uh, how to implement that and and so forth, but. In the last two days, I've noticed a couple uh, changes. One that one of uh, uh, someone pointed out to me, uh, and and one that I noticed today while I was in the uh, ad manager back end. So, let's get into the changes that we're seeing and uh, how they might impact you, uh, whether good or bad. So, um, first, it looks like conversion tracking pixels are officially on the way out. So I logged into my ad manager today and when I went to the uh, pixels section and then under conversion tracking pixel, uh, if you've ran, if you've run Facebook ads for a while, you know that this is kind of the legacy way to track conversions. You create a separate tracking pixel for each event you wanted to track. Um, and Facebook started to move away from this when they introduced the new website custom audience pixel, which they're now calling the Facebook pixel. Uh, but now we see this note here. We're removing conversion tracking pixel of second half of 2016. So they're wanting everyone to migrate off of these. Um, this is uh, kind of surprising to me because I, I think there were, that there might be a, an issue with uh, the way that the custom audience pixel is set up right now with uh, tracking some of these conversions as uh, as cleanly as I would like. You know, if you have different products and different funnels. Um, Right now, you know, I'll, I'll put together a separate video and blog post on this, but I'm a little surprised by this because I thought that you might be able to use the conversion tracking pixels in tandem with the custom audience pixel, depending on uh, how specific your campaign objective is. But it looks like this is the move they're going to make. So we just need to start, I guess, making uh, preparations to move away from these uh, conversion tracking pixels. Um, you know, you can still, uh, again, the, the goal would be to move to the event tracking uh, that we talk about in the Facebook pixel implementation guide. Um, and, and you're going to probably need to use a tool like GTM to implement that, you know, most effectively for your site. But then they've also rolled out, um, this new feature called custom conversions. So I think what they're trying to do here is provide a simple way for people to, uh, track conversions on their site without having to mess with the the custom events and the conversion events that um, you would normally fire through Google Tag Manager or in your page source. Now, the problem that I can see with these is uh, there's a couple of problems, but you can see my screenshot here. It's got a custom conversion. Now, your rule is limited to URL-based rules. So you're only going to be able to use URL-based uh, logic to fire these pixels, which is obviously a problem for sites that have, uh, you know, a lot of different products with different confirmation pages. Also, you know, any site that has a single page architecture, you're going to be, um, you know, this is not going to be able, it's not going to be very helpful for you at all because obviously your URLs don't usually uh, change to exactly reflect like a specific event and so forth. So, um, Let's just hop in and take a look at this and I'll explain uh, kind of the ups and downs of it. Um, so coming over to uh, Business Manager, you'll find this under Tools and Custom Conversions here. Uh, and if I click Create Custom Conversion, you'll see my URL can only be equals or contains. I can't like add compounding rules, which is another limitation. Uh, and right now they're saying you only get 20 of these per account and you can't delete them. So if you're going to use them, use them wisely. Uh, but you can specify basically all of your events here, the standard events that you would also use through uh, your, your website custom audience pixel. So they're the same purchase, lead, uh, payment info and so forth. But let's just look at like purchase here. So let's just say if I was going to do... Um, a, a purchase for this thanks dash test URL. Um, you know, you can add other keywords here, but still no exclusions and uh, no like or statements and so forth. So that's kind of limiting, but go to next, you, you're supposed to add the name. So when you go to your power editor, 
you'll actually see this name come up as your optimization objective that you can select from your dropdown. Um, purchase test. Um, and you can define a value, which is okay. But again, if you have a lot of products and your confirmation page URLs aren't dynamic based on uh, the, the product itself, which you know most e-commerce sites are, you know, you have like a standard confirmation page with maybe some query string parameters at the end, you're going to have an issue here because you only get 20 of them, but you could add a conversion value. So if you have a really simple website and you have one product, this might be, and you don't want to deal with GTM, this might be the way that you want it to implement. Um, you could put in your average conversion value. So this isn't going to pull in anything dynamically. You know, what we want to do with the Facebook pixel really is dynamically populate the conversion value and the content name and you know the product ID and all that good stuff so that we can uh, better define audiences and optimize our um, our campaigns but so here you can only put in like an average value so um, I'm just gonna not create this for now because I don't really need them but uh, so that's kind of the long and short of it you know the positives for the custom conversions are that they're simple you know it's, if you if you don't have a huge website with a lot of uh, objectives, you kind of have one funnel that just goes straight from like view content, lead, purchase, and it's a singular flow. This might be helpful for you. If you have URLs that are actionable and unique, this will be helpful. Um, uh, so, you know, I'm not sure if it'll be good for you or not. This is definitely their effort to give, a, give people a simpler way out or a more easy way out. Um, so those are the two big changes that, that we see, uh, in the past couple days. Um, I'm actually have, have talked to their support about an issue that I'm a little bit concerned with about op conversion optimization using what they're calling the, the Facebook pixel, the new kind of like God pixel that is supposed to be used for retargeting and, uh, conversion. So I'm going to be reaching out to their developer support, uh, on that because, uh, they're my first, the first guy I chatted with was really helpful, but they don't really do that level of support. So I'm going to have to like get in touch with them and see how it goes. But uh, anyways, just a quick update for you guys. I uh, hope everyone's campaigns are, are doing well. And uh, we'll have some uh, new videos with updates again here soon.